Hi, I'm Chris from Chris and Acrylic Pouring and this is the final dried version of the painting we'll be creating today in this video. I'm using sunflower colours for this pour, so I'm using lots of yellows going down to dark browns. I'm using primary yellow, Naples yellow, cadmium yellow, which is a really beautiful golden colour, burnt sienna and burnt umber. The painting is a centre swipe with negative space at the top and the bottom. So I'm going to put a base coat down and I'm using silk house paint mixed with our pouring medium which is PVA glue with water. I'm going to start laying paint down in the centre of the canvas, starting with the primary yellow and I'm going to put quite a bit of this on because that's the colour I want the painting to mainly be. I added a way bit too much of the primary yellow, so here's some Naples yellow and I'm going to start adding some cadmium yellow as well. The cadmium yellow is a beautiful golden colour and it's just starting to add a bit of um, depth to the painting. After that I'm going to add some burnt sienna which is beautiful dark golden brown colour and then some burnt umber. So these darker colours I don't add as much but they just give a bit of depth and they will help create the petal shapes because they contrast with the other colours. I've added all my colours so now I'm going to swipe. I'm going to swipe with white, just plain white acrylic paint which I've thinned slightly with a bit of water and I'm adding to that my silicon. I'm going to use a damp paper towel to um, swipe across. I've sped this up a bit, but you'll see me torching to help activate the silicon and get some beautiful cells. I finished my torching and now I want to blow out the edges. Now I want to make sure there's enough paint at the edges to make some lovely bloom shapes. So I'm going to add some more paint along the top and the bot bottom. I'm adding cadmium yellow and then I'll add some more primary yellow. Lastly, I'm adding some burnt sienna, which will give a lovely depth to some of the blooms that I blow out. When I added the original base to this canvas, I only put a thin layer down because I didn't want the centered colors to be swamped with base. Now I want to blow the edges out of the center swipe. I need to make sure there's enough base on there to allow me to do this. This is where I start blowing out the blooms. I won't show you because all you see is the top of my head, but basically I use my mouth to get nice wide blooms. If I want a more focused shape, I use a straw. And here are the edges. I do love this technique because you get some lovely soft shapes and usually you get lacing because of the base coat interacting with the um, slightly heavier paint. I've left the painting now for half an hour this gives the painting a chance to slightly solidify. If I was to bloom kiss immediately with the paint really wet, any shapes I make would infill. So if you leave it for half an hour, the paint goes slightly tacky. The way the bloom kiss works, you take the balloon and lightly touch it into the surface of the paint, very gently and quickly. When you lift the balloon up, you need to wipe the bottom of the balloon. Basically what's happening is the balloon is lifting some of the paint from the surface of the canvas and it leaves these beautiful petal shapes. I work across the canvas looking at different areas where I think a balloon kiss will work. I'm looking for places where there's a contrast in the paint colours. With this contrast you get some beautiful petal shapes. I also do step back quite a lot and have a think about the composition and what's happening and I also will rotate this canvas so I can look at the um, painting from a different view. I finished doing all my balloon kisses so here is a close up of the canvas. You can see some really beautiful petal shapes. The paint is still wet but I will post a picture at the end of this video of the dried canvas. Here's the dried canvas. I can't tell you how pleased I am with the result. 
the kisses look so beautiful and the yellow colours look absolutely fantastic. You can see you need the darker colours in there to give some depth to the composition and I've named it Sunflower Corolla to go with, along with my Corolla series of paintings. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Goodbye.